So here is how to make it easy. You're going to laugh. This is simple. So simple you might not have even thought of it before. To make it easy to do challenging things, take somebody with you. Not an equal. Not a partner, someone who is on the same level. Take somebody with you. Let me give you an example. When I started doing obstacle course racing, one of the first things I did was talk one of my best friends into doing obstacle course racing with me. Now, this is several years ago, so I would definitely call him an equal in many ways at this point when it comes to obstacle course events. At the time, he was barely starting his fitness journey. He was severely overweight and is still battling weight issues. He's a computer nerd and has been for years, and so years of just working at a desk in a very sedentary environment has taken its toll. But it's one of the first things I talked him into when I started doing it. I knew I was sucking the mileage, but I was pretty good at monkey bars and crawling hunter barbed wire and stuff like that. The obstacle course was my favorite part of basic training. Believe it or not, I actually asked if we could do it again. So, to make it easy, find somebody who is not as far along the trip as you are even. And take them with you. Whether that's finding a friend who needs physical help, isn't as strong or isn't as active as you are, or whether it's somebody who maybe you've started learning a new language or maybe you've started learning a particular new skill. Find somebody you can teach. And guys, this is easy. This doesn't have to be another man your age. This doesn't have to be anything specific. This has to be a person. So you know what? I say get back to your community. Find a kid's program or your kid that you can help grow as you grow. Find, uh, you know, spouse. Ooh, that was sharp, sorry. Find a spouse or some your spouse and help them along their journey as well. Find somebody to make the trip with you. And let me tell you why this makes it easy. I taught for years, okay? I've taught in various capacities since I was in elementary school. I grew up a preacher's kid, so I helped my mom teach kids my age and younger in Sunday school. I eventually became a youth minister. I've been an instructor in almost every job I've ever been in. I've been the lead trainer for job, multiple jobs now. I've spent a lot of years teaching, just not as a formal teacher, and I respect a lot of our teachers because it's important. But one of the things I've learned from it is when you're teaching somebody else, you take responsibility for them. When you take responsibility for them, it is easier to stay accountable because you want to not waste their time and you want to help them along their journey. So, find somebody that you can help who is not as far along as you are, and your challenges, you'll start knocking them out, and you'll have to find more. And when you run out of one challenge, find the next challenge. What's happening, guys? My name is Brent, and I am The Fallible Man. This has been a clip from one of our podcasts. Hey, if you enjoyed the clip, go over to our YouTube channel and check out the full video podcast available exclusively on YouTube. And if you're more of an audio guy, hey, we our podcast is on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, TuneIn, and I think pretty much everywhere else you want to listen. Thanks for hanging out with us, and I hope you enjoyed the clip.